Alrighty, so this is Pod Team 8. Uh, I'm Alex, and I'm going to start my dungeon fall with Pod Team 8. You guys ready? Hell yeah. Yay! Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so you guys will start in the central <clears throat> village of Franconia, home to Hubert. Alright, and it's a lush uh, mountainous terrain, but also next to a coastal port. All right, if you can see in the map. So you guys will basically just be starting right in that central village. And you guys can do whatever you want. There's like, you know, shops and, you know, little uh, places to buy stuff before you head out. And basically, the story is that, um, you know, Franconia is just a chill village, like full of dwarves and stuff. And then all of a sudden, if you notice on the map, that little sea serpent, uh, that's they got the sea serpent and he's evil right and he starts like corrupting the minds of a bunch of evil sea creatures and now they're causing havoc uh, across the lands so now you and your squad have to basically uh, defeat the evil um, sea creatures and restore peace and tranquility sound good? alright yeah. All right. so basically you guys just start right there Wait, where? In the, we're, the, we're in Franconia. Franconia, Franconia, that little Franconia. village, central village. Uh, is there like a quest or anything? Yes, so you can go to the quest, there's a quest board inside one of the little um, uh, shops you can go into. Alright, we'll go check out the quest board. Alright, at the quest board, there's only one big quest. Uh... Uh, go to <clears throat> there's uh, apparently an ancient cave located unknowingly next uh, in one of the little seabeds now it's up to you guys to figure it out quick hint um, it's right between Arlong Pass and Malakin Forest All right. Arlong Pass and Malakin Forest it's, ri it's, it's right like, it's like the mountains it's, it's like the mountains yeah yeah, yeah. Alright, um, is there like a pursued quest to the quest, or is there like... Uh, no, nah, it's, it's been there for years, because apparently multiple uh, bounty hunters and people have just gone missing in there. Alright, so. we'll do a travel over there then. Mm -hmm. straight, straight to the, <laughs> straight to the cave? <laughs> we'll try, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fairly, it's fairly, uh, it's a fairly small area. Because we're not like, taking a ship, are we? Or we just walk? We're just, no, we're no, just, no, we're you, you can just walk. Yeah, you guys can just walk. Yeah, we'll yeah, travel so, our long pass. And... Yeah, in order, so in order to get there, you travel through that little cave right there. You see that cave? Yes. Right between the mountains? So you, as you're traveling the mountains, now you guys are located within that, I'd say like, I don't know, 45-foot uh, cave. What do you guys want to do in there? Is it just straight, or is it like it's, it's straight? It's straight. Yeah, let's walk. Let's walk. Oh, wait, let me let me let me roll a perception check. I guess perception check. Good idea. Good idea. Which dice is that again? Twenty. It's been a while since I rolled this. Yeah, it's a d twenty. Fourteen. Fourteen. So basically, as you see, as you're perceiving the area, you see a little lump to the right side. And it looks kind of mischievous. What do you want to do with that lump? Investigate. Investigate it? It turns out it's a giant spider. Oh, God. So, <laughs> Why are you touching lumps, bro? <laughs> that's a really giant spider. And now it's really pissed that you like looked at it funny. <laughs> Just think I'm judging it. Yep. Uh... <clears throat> And fun funnily enough, the uh, the spider can talk. He says, "What the fuck are you doing?" Uh, I was investigating, bro. <laughs> the spider didn't like that. Now you guys engage in combat. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got roll. Does everybody remember how to play again? <laughs> got, yeah. Is it rolling yeah. the initiative check right? Yeah, you roll initiative. At 20, right? Yeah. 
I got 11. 11? Let's see. Uh, for initiative? Yeah. I have 13. 13. Uh, 13 plus 1, so 14. 14. Oh, I wrote that ad thing. Where it was. What? Uh, We're all rolling initiative. Uh, I have 17 then. 17. I'm gonna be, I forgot what initiative does. It's like who goes this first. is turn order. A yeah. oh, turn order? Okay. So. I have 17. 17. Uh, Danny's got. Did you say 13? 14, 14. 14. I got 12. 12. Yeah. And then Jared's got 12. You and I got 12, yeah. So it's okay. me, Danny. Did either cherish or Lynn. I got you. Whatever the initiative is with that spider, is where he goes. Gotcha. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> since Jason got so seventeen means you're first, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your first move? Is it just one spider? It yeah, is one spider. <laughs> one angry ass spider. All right. Let let me cast. Uh... Let me cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> All right, go for it. I got a seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. Let's see. Um. Dude, I'm trying to find the. Uh, <clears throat> oh, wait, was that for the damage to roll die, or was that for the the hit? You got to roll D twenty to hit. Oh That's yeah, the, I forgot to roll the D twenty. Oh, that's the way it was. <laughs> yeah. You got a 7 out of D20? No, I got a 7 for the for the attack, like the damage. Oh, the damage? Oh, okay. But I got a 14 for a hit. Okay. So you hit it. You hit it. And you did, uh... You did 7 damage! Can you, Let's congrats. get it! <laughs> congrats! Yeah. Alright. Next up is... Danny. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and use Intimidating Presence. So I could frighten a creature within 30 feet. Um, they have to succeed a Wisdom Saving Throw, DC 14. If not, they're frightened until the end of the next turn. All right, let's see. So I have to, I have to roll, right? Yeah, you roll yeah. for the spider. Roll roll a Wisdom check. Wisdom check. Which dice is that again? The D20. D20. <laughs> Magic got a 20 again. That'd be crazy. Uh, uh, you are the 20 god. <laughs> I got a 12. So that means 12. The, the spider is frightened. Yeah, so he can't, he can't act during his next turn. Oh, nice. Nice work. Good job. Good work. Good work. And next up is... Uh, Lin. Um, I'm gonna go for... Wait, how far is it? Uh, the spider? Away from us? Yeah. About like, I'd say like, five feet. Five feet? Okay. Um, five feet from um, all of us, or five feet from, uh... All of you guys, all of you guys. No shit, alright. Oh, we're just, yeah. we just in a straight, like, wall. Yeah, y'all in a straight line, <laughs> yeah. Like a wall. <laughs> yeah. Wall them off, okay, boys, I'll wall them off. For... Poison spray? Poison spray. And I got a two. A hit or attack? <laughs> um, it, the poison spray is a spell. Oh, it's a spell? Okay. Yeah. Two. And I rolled a two, unfortunately. So, I think spell, you still roll um a d20 to see if you hit him or not. D20? Yeah. Okay. What'd you get? A, a d20 is just a 20 sided die, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 10. You got 10? Okay. Yeah. Go 10. Yo, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that. You, you, did, you did two health points. Two health? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, next up is Cherish. Yeah, how far is it? 5 feet. Uh, I would like to use the fire bolt. All right. Yeah. Right. And D twenty, right? D twenty, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm, I got 17. 17? Yeah. Like 17, like, attack? Like 10 plus. Like, like 17 as in, like, a hit? Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Wait, hold on. I forgot how much damage Firebolt does. Like, um, I got it for damage, 10 plus 7, 17. Congratulations, because the, the monster only had 17 health points left. Good job, guys. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> Good job, guys. Yo, we cooked that boy up. Yeah, he has cooked it. Dang. Yeah. It was like now that orc fight, it. bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good job, team. All right. So, you guys defeat the spider, and now you guys can do whatever you want with it. You can loot it. You can eat it. I don't, it don't matter. The loot it. Loot it. Loot it. Loot it. Loot it. Since uh, Cherish used a fireball, there's nothing left. Dang, Cherish. <laughs> that's, that's I'm going to oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to pass through the cave, then. <laughs> Yo, can I light a torch? Yeah, you can light a torch and uh, light the way. Yeah, I'm going to light a torch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to illuminate the, the area. The so. area. Yeah, so we can see what's going on while we pass through the cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as, uh, <clears throat> as Danny lights the torch, you can see... The, the skeletons of lost travelers along the way and it's very eerie very mysterious but you guys keep pressing on anyways and eventually you guys do see the light at the end of the tunnel now you guys are stuck in the forest before a long pass <laughs> so around you guys is just a shit ton of trees right and but if you keep going further you can go to the um, the mountainside and you can make it to the town, which is past it, but depends Let's on what you guys want to do. Go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. You, you guys want to travel through the mountains? Sure. All right. You guys travel through the mountains, and it's it's a long hike because it's mountains, you know, and everyone's so like tired, right? And um, you guys you guys see in the corner of your eye. That there's something shiny at the bottom, uh, bottom right of the mountains, uh, more near the forest. What do you guys want to do? Uh, investigate. Investig investigate. Awesome. All right. <laughs> uh, as you guys approach the little shiny object, you uh, all of a sudden. Um, uh, a homeless guy, a homeless looking guy, like, like runs up and you guys start screaming. He's like, ah! ah. What do you guys want to do? Uh, defuse the situation. What happened? Situation. What's happening? So he is, so he's like a dwarf, another dwarf. He's been, he's been outcasted in the forest for a long time. He's like, what the fuck are you guys doing in my forest? Right? And... He's like, you can tell he's angry. He's pissed. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm going to persuade him. Persuade him? I'm going to persuade him. Uh, saying, what's, what's the reason? We're only here to travel. We were on a quest. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I rolling a d20 for that? Yeah. Let me see. Roll a 16, boys. 16? Ooh. That's pretty good. He's... And, with your persuasion, he's like, oh, my fault. My fault, Tim. You know, I didn't mean to scare you guys like that. It's, my name is Dumble Dwarf. I am, <laughs> I am a, a wizard dwarf who has been shunned by society. And now my only goal is just to protect these forests because they're the only ones who cared for me. <clears throat> and this little shiny object, that's just... That's one of my... Uh, potion bottles that I dropped a long time ago. And now I found it. So thank you. Let's go. In exchange for helping me find this lost potion bottle, I'll uh, give you guys information about a rumor around these parts. Would you, are you interested in hearing it? See. So, so this is only a rumor, but apparently if you guys travel further to the right of this forest, Toward, towards the east, uh, there is a, a secret cave tunnel that reaches from here straight to the other forest. 
the other four is on the east side. But I haven't confirmed it myself. But you would do what you will with that information. Let's investigate the information. Let's go. Ooh, the information. That's crazy. So as you guys go towards the little the forest on the east side, you don't see a cape. And now you're like, that guy lied. So, but, but, as you observe closer, you see a little written message on the, uh, on near the beach, the coast side, carved on one of the trees. And basically, it says, oh, hold on, I gotta pull up the, uh, the, the language. <clears throat> um, wait, I forgot, do you guys have any, like, unique, like, spells or specialties specialties like are they anyone like good at like fire water well everyone except for me the mage i think mage well i'm bard so no yeah, you got you got magic though so magic yeah does anyone have um you guys have fire and ice spells though right uh yeah i do i got an ice knife Also, Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Yeah, that's fire. Anyway, so on the trees, you guys see that there's there's little symbols carved on each, on three trees. There's one that looks like fire, one that looks like ice, and then one that looks like um, lightning. What are you guys going to do with that information? Uh, it's on the trees, right? Carved on the trees. All right, let me cast a thunder wave at the thunder tree. <laughs> All right. So I forgot you have to roll for that, right? Or no? Wait, I mean, we're not in battle, though, are we? We're in a battle, right? Yeah. yeah. So you you hit it. You hit it with your thunder wave, and as the a tree is struck with lightning and thunder, uh, you 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 feel a little vibration in the ground, and then just stops suddenly. Alright, who's got fire? I don't got fire, so. <laughs> I can do the ice sign. Do an ice knife at that. I wanted the, at the ice tree? Yeah, the ice tree. So you hit it, and the tree is basically frozen, it's cold. And then you hear, no, you feel another vibration and rumbling on the ground, and all of a sudden it stops again. Now you have one more tree left. What is it, a fire tree? Yeah, it's fire. Cherish is only got firebolt. You got firebolt? Who's got firebolt? Uh. What? Do you have a firebolt? I do have. Can you cast at the tree? Yeah. Like, you want me to use it? Yes, on the tree, because there's a fire sign. Uh, okay, we'll use it. No. Way. So he uses the fire and hits the tree, and it's just—it's all covered in flames, and you, you know you hear fire sounds. And all of a sudden, the the you know, the ground just feels like it's shaking nonstop. It sounds like a—it feels like an earthquake. And all of a sudden, you see an entrance that used to be uh, just covered in water, but now it's an entrance to a deep and lush cave. What do you guys do? Enter. Yo, I'm gonna bust out my my torch again. You might want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So now, as you guys enter the cave, or do you guys enter yet? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a deep and lush cave. If you want, you can pull up the um the little dungeon diagram. We're in the dungeon now. Oh yeah. Okay. The... <laughs> okay, there you go. Where, yeah, where are we entering the... from? So you guys are entering from that little um. This where? The... Nah, nah, the, um... Here? The little, uh, not Here? the octopus. At the very bottom. Here? Yep, right there. Alright, let All me... Alright. Yes, you're trying. <clears throat> yeah, we're right here. <clears throat> right? Yeah. yeah, you guys enter, right? <clears throat> and... So, at... Yeah, as you guys enter, it's very dark. It's very, like, dim. You can barely see anything in front of you. Um, 
and you know it just it, all you hear is cave sounds and water droplets because it's underneath the water so what do you guys want to do now I still want to light my torch right oh you know someone's got a lighting torch <laughs> yeah I got I got torches you light your torch all right uh let me roll a perception check, see if there's anything around us. Perception check. I got so 20. Gonna, you got 20? Oh, perfect. So, I, I'm going to go by, uh, like, shape, basically. So, with your perception check, you can see that in the little space you're in, there's nothing too uh, immediately dangerous around you, except for the fact there's piles of skeletons next to each other. But that's nothing. You're fine. All okay. right. And you can see vaguely down the hallway, but it's around a 50 foot, 50 foot uh, hallway. But um, with the torch, with the torch, you guys can see the basically the whole area around you, and nothing's too bad. All right, Danny, you take the lead. Down All the right. Hallway. It's a 50 foot hallway. All right, can I walk straight down to the to the entrance of the walkway and look into, like, the room that we're going into? Yep. So, as you're walking down, you can peek, you peek around the little corners and see that it's a very big, um, very big, uh, room you're entering in. It's very, uh, it's covered in debris and just basically cave stuff, and things look kind of fragile around you. Like, it looks very shaky. But this is a very deep uh, room, so you don't get to see too much in front of you. But you get to see enough in your general vicinity. Alright. You're in the lead, Danny. You do, see you do see two entryways on your left and right, though. Let's go right. Okay, I scale. Can I, like, walk close to the wall? Because you said the yeah. ground looks shaky, right? So I'm going to walk yeah. close to the wall. I'm just going to hug it, and I'm going to head towards the left. Towards the left room. <clears throat> All right. So as you move to the left room, there's a there's a door right there, and the door is is very old, very uh you know very <clears throat> worn, and you guys can just inspect that door. All right. Can I just try turning the the doorknob? Can <laughs> see if it's open? <laughs> yep. So as you guys twist the doorknob, the door just falls over. All and right. you guys get a clear view right. into the room. But um, it's also very dark in there. But you, Oh, you have your torch, right? Yeah. So as you basically enter the room with a lit torch, you see a uh, bunch of... You see a lot of remnants of what used to be travelers. And you see skeletons around. around. But you also see a chest at the very end, uh, very end of the room. Let's investigate it. Alright, can I actually investigate the bodies first? I want to see if I can find out how they died. Uh, at this point, they're all skeletons. But, mm. you can see, on one of the skeletons, you can see a slight uh, fracture on their skull. Looks to, pe looks, uh, to be like bite marks. Mm. Sounds like a trap, boys. Let me roll a perception. Roll? Yeah, I was going to say, can, can we roll a perception check? Yeah, you guys can roll a perception. I got ten. Ten. I got a, a thirteen. Thirteen. Hmm. <clears throat> so you guys perceive the area, you do realize that something is a little bit off. Just very off. But you can't put your finger on it. So uh <clears throat> let's see. There's uh as you guys continue investigating the room. Um, you can see <clears throat> one silver coin on the floor. What do you guys want to do with that? Pick it up. Pick it up. Well, uh, well, I have a javelin. Can I throw my javelin at the chest? Go for it. Okay. Can we roll a d20 to see if I can hit it? Or... Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it's a monster. I don't know. I'm going to throw it. I'm going to throw a job. I like how I'm just gun hoeing it and just, <laughs> just, over here just being super cautious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's dead bodies. There's one chest, and then one of them looks like a bite mark. I don't know, man. I'm throwing Alex, a, I'm where throwing you at when I need you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I, I, I rolled a 14. Uh, um, for it, I don't even realize that a hit, I think. Yeah, it probably should be. The stationary, bro. <laughs> stationary. <laughs> Yeah. So you throw the you throw the javelin at it. How, what's the hit points on the javelin? Oh, it's plus eight. Um, so thirteen plus eight is twenty one. Damn. I have tw- I have plus eight. That's crazy. Maybe right, it's whatever. Up, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna add the plus eight. That seems broken. So yeah, fourteen. Um, one d six plus four. So let's see. Four plus four, eight. I do eight damage. Damn. So basically, when you hit when you hit the chest, that's just like, yo, what the fuck, right? And it starts like getting angry at you, and like its long tongue pops out and it has very sharp teeth, and now it's engaged in combat. Oh, you were right, Danny. <laughs> yo, I knew it. It's a mimic. It's right. just one, right? He has one. Just one. Oh, I rolled a twenty. Oh, let me roll. I rolled a 15. Okay. Lint. E20, right? Yeah. Yeah. 19. 19, okay. And... I'm just gonna put him... (laughs) Okay. Uh, how do you guys want your formation to be? You guys want to be in like a, a wall line, a straight line? Well, I was leading the pack, so I'll, I'm in front. That's true. With the torch. The torch. Okay. So, you say you got a D20 right here? Yeah. What do you want to do to it? Alright, so I'm going to use. Since there's only one person, right? Yeah. I'm going to use my intimidating presence again. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You need to roll a d20 wisdom saving throw. Alright. Uh, where are you? No! All right. All right, I got a 10 for wisdom saving throw. Alright, so yeah, you fail. I frighten yeah. it. Yeah, so you I, did. I, I basically scowl at it, but with the torch, I hold it underneath my face, you know, like the scary, like, yeah. campfire stories kind of thing. But I'm just scowling <laughs> at him. I'm just scaring the shit out of him with my, with my shadowed face. Good job. And you, I forgot how much damage you did to it. You said, um... I don't do any damage. It just uh, makes... It frightens them, so they lose their next turn. Okay. I mean, when you threw the javelin. Oh, eight. Okay, okay. Alright, so next is... Uh, Lynn. What do you want to do to it? So, is the chest like... It's a mimic. Hurt? Yeah. It's a mimic. Mm. Oh, so they don't they don't lose their turn, sorry. So they can't move towards me. And they can't and they have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rules. Oh. But they could they can still do something. They just can't move closer to me. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Okay. Uh I'll go for an ice knife. It's it's not too far, right? Yeah, it's about like I'd say like ten feet. Okay. Yeah, I'll just use Ice Knife. And then... I roll... 17. 17? Damn. Okay. So you did about 5 damage to it. I believe. Okay. Alright, next is... Jason. Alright. Time to shine. So how is the mimic looking? Is he looking like hurt? Yeah, like... he's hurt. He's like, damn, y'all just threw a javelin at me. He's like bouncing around and shit in, in, in agony. All right, let me cast Call Lightning, level three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hold on. Dude, where is... Where is he said Call of Lightning? Yeah, level three. Level three. 
Where is the thing? Did you roll yet? Oh, yeah, let me roll. 22 damage! 22 damage, that's crazy. You did a big portion of this health. So, like, this cloud forms above the mimic, and this lightning strikes out of it. Does it kill him? <laughs> Almost. He's like, he's like, ooh. He's like singed. <laughs> but he's, yeah, he's like singed right now. But he's, yeah, he did a big chunk of his health, but he's not quite there yet. Okay. Um, scares. Rose gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cherish. Yeah, bro's gone. I mean, it's all in attendance code and fled. I, I don't blame him. <laughs> yeah. We probably have to do this two parts to this, anyways. Unless you want to continue through. Well, I think. You want it? I think Minmar has class at three. Yeah. Alright, so we can just continue this later then, I guess. Okay, yeah. Let me pause the recording real quick. You guys see the announcements there?